Well, y'all want to know what you do when your wife's at work and you're sitting at home by yourself because you got things to do? Well, stick around and I'll show you. Yo, do da day. Do da, do da. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Actually, it's afternoon. But anyway, y'all, I have finally got my POS red pickup here. As you can see, the red on the side of my truck, like right there. Because I've got my panels and stuff taken apart. Because one day I'm going to fix the doors to the back. The latches are off for whatever on the back door. So that's going to be next to fix. So I can actually get them unlocked. Anyway. It is now time to go run this thing. I need to run it about 50 miles to try to clear the codes and clear the stuff out before I try to go get the emissions test done on this pickup. Hopefully it passes because um, I need to get the tag today. Today is the last business day that the tag office is closed before my tag expires. Otherwise I pay a late fee, so yeah, that sucks. But yes, we are gonna try to get this thing done. Um, definitely better than what it was it's definitely quieter but i can still hear a little tick 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 but i don't hear it when i'm stationary as long as i'm sitting still and i rev it and idle it i don't hear it but i hear a little tick 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 when i'm driving and i gas on it but i don't hear it when i rev it in park so still got to figure that out but hopefully hey at least it's done. I've got the new catalytic converter. It was 542 bucks for a new catalytic converter to get put on it at the most shop in the O2 sensor. Oh, oh well, it is what it is, y'all. Anyway, we are driving this bad boy. I'm out for the day. Cat is at work. I postponed me staying instead of leaving out today, which is Friday. I'm going to leave out on Monday. Um, because I need to get this done. Like I say, my tag expires freaking Sunday, so. As long as I can get it done by, get the emissions done by tomorrow, get it worked out if it doesn't pass, try to do whatever. Um, with the emissions on here, there are places that are open on Saturday, and if it does automatically update in their system or whatever, I can always renew the tag online without having to go stand at the tag office for, you know, freaking an hour, two hours to renew the tag. Um, you know, I'll do what I gotta do, but that's what my day's gonna be. And then going out shopping for the wife, getting her some things that she wants me to get for the house while she's at work. Yeah, gotta do the husbandy thing, you know. Anyway, hopefully everybody is having them a great start to a blessed weekend, and we will holler at y'all later, y'all. Peace out. Driving up here to the Walmart here in Rock Mill, so I can drive this is clear to codes, man. There are trucks, there are drop trailers, man. There are trucks all in here, like a couple of bobtails there. There's two drop trailers over there. Another here's another freaking truck up here with a drop trailer. Buddy, drop trailer. I mean, shoot, I ought to freaking drive and park my truck over here, say $75 or $175 a month. Man, this is different. I had to say, this is different. I mean, they have drop trailers freaking everywhere. This is definitely the town to live in if you're a freaking truck driver, man. Absolutely the town to live in if you're a truck driver. Sweet, y'all. I'm gonna come here while I'm here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me some Lucas. Grab me some Lucas. Well, well that sucks. That's a parking spot. It's not blocked off, but it's a damn fire hydrant. But I'm only gonna be in for a few seconds to grab some Lucas. So, let's go get it. And drivers, I cannot say enough. I cannot say it enough. <laughs> Go to your Walmart. Get your Lucas. Your fuel and your freaking oil additives from Walmart. I mean, it can save you $10 per gallon as opposed to what truck stops want to charge you for it. It's literally insane what the truck stops want to charge you for this mess. When you can get it from Walmart for much cheaper price. If you're gonna get it anyway, why not pay less, you know what I'm saying? Get it when you're home, stock up.
I got another truck coming up in here to park. I mean, this place is a truck parking lot of this freak. This is a Walmart who is indeed truck friendly. I mean, look at all this. Bobtails, dang, gone. Flatbed, drop box trailer. Look at there, two bobtails there from the same company in our Aragon, whatever. Rider, Christian drop trailer there. Let's see, and we got more bobtail, two drop trailers right there. Two school buses over on that side. I mean, y'all, you gotta love these towns that are Walmart friendly. Anyway, we gonna put the phone down so we can get out here on the highway and get moving again. Try to get back and go get my missions test done. I hope, hopefully it passes, we'll see. Fixing to dog it out for another 25, 30 miles back over to Dallas. So let's see how it goes. And I don't know how far I've driven because I'm guessing it's like 25, 30 miles. My speedometer does not read anything. It start read when this truck had about 144,000 miles and it hasn't read anything since then. So I've probably got about 150 plus 160,000 miles on this Ford F-150. So, you know, I ain't getting rid of it. What everybody? We are here. We have the, it's a drive-in. Let's pull up a little bit further up here so you can see this. You have a drive-in emission thing. You drive through the other side of the building, come in there. You don't have to get out your car and they'll do it. And there's the tag office right there. And I have me a pass and I did just did pass it. Woo! Now I can just go over there. I can get my tag and ho, oh, I'm good to go. So then the rest of the weekend, I can feel a little, I can breathe a little bit easier, come over here, get my tag, and it's only 20 bucks to do the emissions, which sucks, but hey, it's all good. I got it, and it's nice that this shop is right here. Well, the place is called Dallas Emissions. You enter from that side over there, you got the line over there, you pull in, you drive right on through, and there you go, you get it done. Like I say, you don't even have to get out of your car, you just sit right there. That is sweet, y'all. And then here's our tag office. The whole government complex here, water bill, power bill, or all the government stuff is right here. Tags, DMV, tax assessors, courthouse, everything's in this whole big giant couple acre complex. So we're good, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm in the elevator. I've got my sticker, my little, you know, we gotta have our green sticker there. We're good to go. Now I'm gonna try to come right over here next door and try to do the early vote because they're having votes. Because Tuesday is our election, so I'm trying to get that done today too. Hopefully that works out. Use it. All right, y'all. This is how frugal I am. My wife talks about how frugal I am. I got Thor's cat food bag from the truck, which, as y'all can see, it's all the way down to the bottom. There's only about a tenth of a bag in there, so I'm taking it home to fill it up from the house. Because in the house, we have two two totes, two um, Tupperware totes that have, you know, good seal and lids on the top that come up to my waist, and they are slap of cat food because we buy in the big bags like this, and then we fill those totes up, and then we just dip our cup in there, or plastic cup in there, and then go pour it in the cat food bowl. So we always have cat food. So this was my way of doing this. So now we're gonna be able to take this bad boy, take it to there, fill it up with what I already have so I don't have to buy new cat food. That's just how frugal. Work smarter, not harder, right? <laughs> but anyway, I've got my paperwork. I stopped by the truck. Got my paperwork, so I go drop this off at EPS. I was actually supposed to drop this off last Monday. And today is Friday, but I haven't been out besides to run and go grab my truck here. So we dropped the truck off Wednesday. We we're in our freaking wife was in her pajamas, you know. That's all we did that day, drop it off because she was off. So generally on her off days, we don't do much. But we did go to you know, thing, but I forgot to come back and get the paperwork and all that because I looked at the other one at the house, so you know, it all got screwed from there. So, yeah, so now I'm doing it today, late, but anyway, fix and stop here off at the UPS store. Let's see, this ain't the driveway, it's the next one. 
and brought this off and then I'm stopping by Ulta to get her I've already called the lady at Ulta they've got the perfume in stock my wifey mentioned that they had a new perfume that she likes um, there at Ulta it is an alien she loves the alien she I've bought her the purple one before she loves that purple scent um, the purple bottle and she refills those um, they got the refillable things so I think that this Jeep will move out my dang way which sucks all I need to do is run in I ought to park up here where it says no parking just to run an envelope and hand it to the UPS store but out here in this damn parking lot, everybody's coming in. So I'm gonna park way out here just to run a freaking envelope in for two seconds. Freaking ridiculous. I mean, you know, the things we gotta go through just to run an envelope in. But then Ulta is just a few doors down. I can go there and get her perfume because I haven't bought her perfume in a while. So I gotta suck up. I gotta make some, some major sucking up to do. So, yeah, I'm going to go get her some perfume. Yeah. I don't like to spend the money, but sometimes you have to do it on your wife because, you know, she always buys me clothes and everything else when I'm gone, and I don't really buy her nothing but perfume. So, I'm going to surprise her with her perfume that she said that she liked, and it's a brand new alien scent that came out. Um, I think it's Goddess is the name of it. I love all the aliens perfumes. They do have some good smelling scents. So, I'm sure this will be good. But we're gonna go get her perfume, y'all. I always fuss about coming in Ulta, but we gotta get him some Ulta. We gotta get her perfume. So here we are. Ulta, we gotta get her perfume, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We, we must get her her perfume. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, y'all, and we have her alien perfume. The one she likes. Um, it's the new scent that come out. So she's got it. Holla! Um, you know, my baby deserves it. She works hard. She's good to me, extremely good to me. So, yes, yeah, sometimes I do like to spoil her and get her perfume, y'all. So keep your woman happy, y'all. Buy her perfume. All right, y'all. And we did even more. We got my baby these. Got her a couple lottery tickets because she wanted me to get a couple lottery tickets and I bought her some flowers which I have not got in her in a while she's always hitting at me because I never bring her flowers anymore she's always sings that song you don't bring me flowers anymore so I'm bringing her flowers and perfume before she gets home from work ha all right y'all this is my due diligence here as I say I've got her perfume and I've got her some flowers so when she comes home from work, she will be surprised. Because like I say, she, she's always mentioned that I haven't bought her flowers in a long time and I haven't bought her perfume since like her birthday or somewhere in there. So yeah, it's time to, to get her something. So here I get. And this intersection trying to get out of this place is ridiculous. Arr! But anyway, hopefully she enjoys it, y'all. We hope everybody has y'all a good, safe, blessed weekend. Don't forget to take your white flowers if you haven't done it in a long time. Think about me, y'all. Do it, y'all. We'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.